Greetings, uh, this is Eric uh, here. Um, so today I want to talk about uh, options trading. All right, so um, I've been trading options now since 2014, and I actually learned how to trade options while working as a computer engineer in a cubicle, right? Hence the name of this, uh, of this channel, Cubicle Investing. So oftentimes when I'm out and about, and I come across folks who are interested in learning about the stock market. Uh, they're looking to develop an additional stream of income for their household, right? I always bring up the, the topic of options, uh, options trading, as a way of making money from the market without actually having to buy shares of stock. And you can do this on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis, right? And so... And it, so while I'm having these conversations, oftentimes I am under the assumption that most folks are familiar with options or at least heard of options, you know. But um, as it turns out, that's just not the case. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about essentially what is an option contract. And I want to give analogies of the two kinds of options, the call option and also the put option, because I think analogies are a great way to describe a concept that makes it uh, easier for a lay person to understand. All right, so uh, let's get started. All right, so here we go. Um, just going to start out with uh, the basic definition of an option contract. So an option contract is sold by one person to another, and it gives the buyer of the option contract the right, but not the obligation to buy or sell stock at an agreed upon price before the expiration date of the option contract. Right. And so oftentimes when I, you know, give this definition to the average person who has not been exposed to options, um, it can be rather confusing. Right. So, again, as I mentioned before, I, I like to use analogies. So. There are two kinds of options. So you have a call option. That gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation to buy shares of stock at a specific price before the expiration date of the option contract. And then you have a put option, right? A put option gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation to sell shares of stock at a specific price before the expiration date of the put option contract. So essentially a call option allows you to do what? A call option allows you to get stock, right? And a put option allows you to, to give stock. So the analogy I like to use for a call option is a coupon, right? So when you think about uh, a call option, think about it in terms of a coupon. So a coupon allows you to do what? A coupon allows you to buy a product or a service at a discounted price. So let's say, for example, let's say you pay uh, $10 for this $90 coupon. Right. And this coupon gives you the right, but not the obligation to buy. In this case, the underlying asset is a pair of tennis shoes for eighty dollars. Right. It allows you to buy these uh, these tennis shoes for 80 bucks. But it wouldn't make sense for you to exercise your coupon at this particular point because the price of the tennis shoes or the underlying asset is less than the value of your coupon plus the transactional cost or what it costs to buy the coupon, right? So, but the reason why you purchase the coupon is because you are anticipating that the price of the underlying asset is going to increase to, in this case, 120 bucks. And so when it does that, then, and if the coupon has not expired, then it wouldn't make sense for you to exercise your coupon, right? Because the underlying assets uh, price has appreciated to the point where it's greater than the value of your coupon plus what you pay for the coupon, right? So in that case, again, assuming the coupon 
has not expired, in that case, it would make sense for you to exercise your coupon because now you can actually buy an asset for less than its appreciated value. Make sense? So now every option contract, whether it be a call option or a put option, has three primary components, right? It has a premium. And in this case, the premium is the $10 you pay for the coupon or the call option. You have the strike price, which is $90, which is the value of the coupon itself. And then, of course, you have the expiration date. Those are the three primary components of every option contract, whether it be a put option or a call option. Okay, so the analogy I like to use for a put option is auto insurance, right? So we all know the purpose of auto insurance. So now let's say, let's say you paid a $600 premium to an auto insurance company and that auto insurance company agreed to insure your, uh, your car at the price point of $10,000, right? So in the event that your car is in an accident and the policy has not expired, right? You have the right, but not the obligation to file a claim to the auto insurance company. And because you have paid them a $600 premium, the auto insurance company is obligated, right? To make you whole at the price point of $10,000, right? So that's all a put option is. A put option is essentially, um, it's like auto insurance. You are insuring your asset. Now, some folks will argue that a car is not an asset, but um, that's beyond the scope of this video. And again, every option contract has three primary components. It has the premium. And in this case, the premium is the $600 you paid to the auto insurance company, right? It has a strike price. The strike price is the agreed upon price in which uh, the auto insurance company has agreed to make you whole in the event that your car is in an accident. And then you have the expiration date, right? Because every option contract has an expiration date, as I mentioned before. So uh, in closing, just remember this. So a, a call option is analogous to a coupon and a put option is analogous to auto insurance. So hopefully, um, you know, these analogies uh, have made sense. And for those folks who are not familiar with option contracts, hopefully you have a better understanding of what a call option is and also what a put option is. And so if you, um, if you found this information to be valuable, um, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Also hit the like button. We definitely appreciate it.